In today's lesson, we're going to practice a few more examples of rounding to the nearest hundred. So I always tell my students to write the rounding rules on their paper first. Our rules are stay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, go up, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we're going to start with an example. Let's do 293. If we're going to round to the nearest hundred, we need to underline our hundreds place. Then it's a two. We circle the number behind it. It's a nine. Nine in our rule says go up. So it tells the two to go up to a three. So 293 rounds to 300. The two goes up to a three, and then these numbers go to zeros. All right, let's do another number. Let's do... 25. If I'm rounding to the nearest hundred, I want to underline the hundreds place, and it's here. I don't have any number there. So 25 is between 0 and 100 if I'm rounding to the nearest hundreds. Now, this 2 is my bossy number, and it says stay. So 25 is going to tell the 0 to stay at 0, and it's going to round to 0. Now, let's do another example, and let's pretend this number was 79, and I'm rounding to the nearest 100. That's still a zero right there. It's between zero and 100, but my bossy number is a seven, and seven says go up. It's going to tell the zero to go up to a one. These numbers go to zeros. So 79 on a number line is closer to 100. All right, let's round 993 to the nearest hundred. So, hundreds place, it's a nine. Our bossy number is the number behind it, and it's a nine, and nine says go up. Well, if I'm counting, what's the next number after nine? It's 10. Wait, what? I can't put a 10 in this spot, because if when I do that, that makes the 10 really turns to 1,000. See, there's your 10, because 10 in the hundreds place gives you 1,000. These two numbers here go to zeros. So 993 is between 900 or 1,000, and it's going to round up to 1,000. 